property, he should gain the whole world and lose his own soul. There it is right there. So ain't nothing better than this, is it? Come on, brother. Ain't nothing out there worth you losing your salvation. Nothing and nobody. Come on. Worth you losing your salvation. Nothing. Go ahead and read. Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? What you gonna give for in exchange for your soul? Go ahead and read. For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father. Uh-huh. With his angels. Go ahead. And then he shall reward every man according to his works. Ooh. He gonna come with his angels and he gonna judge every man according to his work. So much for what well, Jesus done all the work. We don't have to do no work. Hmm. Whoa. You know, he used to tell us that in church when I was younger. And I heard somebody say that not too long ago. Hmm. Jesus did all the work. We don't have to do no work. Okay, don't do no work. You're going to be judged according to that work that you didn't do. <laughs> Every man going to be judged according to his work. Go ahead and read. 28. Uh-huh. Verily I say unto you, there be some standing here uh -huh. which shall not taste I'm sorry. of death. We, okay, we're not going to read that. Uh, let's go to uh, let's go to uh, Philemon. Philemon. Now, I'll give you a chance to find it. Philemon. Shout the Titus. Philemon, the first verse. Philemon, the first verse. Right at the Titus. Before Hebrews. Right before Hebrews. Philemon, the first verse. Go ahead and read it. <coughs> Excuse me. Paul, a prisoner of Jesus Christ. See? You see, that's what you got to become. You got to become a prisoner of Jesus Christ. Read it again. Paul, a prisoner of Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. And Timothy, our brother, unto Philemon, our, dear, our dearly beloved and fellow laborer. Skip down, fellow what? Laborer. Laborer. You got every man going to be judged according to his works, isn't he? Yes, sir. Skip down to verse 9. Go ahead and read. Yet for love's sake, I'd rather beseek thee, uh -huh. being such and one as Paul, the, the age, Go ahead. and now also a prisoner of Jesus Christ. And now also a prisoner of Jesus Christ. And that's what you have to become. A prisoner of Jesus Christ. And that's what we have become. Prisoners. Yes, sir. And it's a good prison too, ain't it? Happy. <laughs> this is a good cup. You know, like I said, people think of prison, that's something, you know, but most cases it is. But this right here, this is the best prison you could ever be a part of. That's the one, brother. A prisoner of Christ. Let's go now. Let's go on. Let's go to James, the fourth chapter. James 4. James 4, and we're going to pick it up at verse 8. James 4 and 8. James 4 and 8. You don't never want to leave this. Go ahead and read. Draw nigh to God. Uh-huh. And he will draw nigh to you. If you draw near to God, he will draw near to you. And you draw near to God by doing what? Doing what he commands you to do. That's how you draw near to God. Simple. Mm -hmm. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Go ahead. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners. Uh-huh. And purify your hearts, ye double-minded. I know we read that already. We're going to reread it again. Let's go now. Let's go to Luke, the ninth chapter. I'm going to show you why I read this again. Luke 9, and we're going to read one verse, verse 62. Luke 9 and 62. We got two more, or uh, three more. Luke 9 and 62. This is why I read it again. Go ahead and read. And Jesus said unto him, uh -huh. No man having put his hand to the plow, uh -huh. and looking back, Go ahead. is fit for the kingdom of God. Ooh. Now, does everybody understand that? That is plain as day and clear as day, ain't it? It's written. You going to put your hand to the plow, and you going to start doing this? And start doing the will of God, and then you look back or go back, you're not fit for the kingdom of God. Now, you know, we can stop right here. Mm -hmm. You understand? I could have read you this one verse 
right here and been done with it. And Jesus said unto him, no man having put his hand, see, see, you know, because you a preacher, because you a pastor, you understand, or you call yourself a bishop, you got all this money and everything, that don't mean nothing to the Lord. You got all this wisdom and everything, that don't mean nothing to the Lord. He said, and Jesus said unto him, no man having put his hand to the plow and look back is fit for the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. That is really something, ain't it? Indeed. Let's go now. Let's go to Hebrews, the sixth chapter. We got two more. Hebrews 6. So we got to be careful with this, don't we? We got to guard this, guard this for dear life's sake, don't we? We got to guard this man. We got to be on our P's and Q's when it comes to this. And don't let no man take your crown away from you. No man. None. Hebrews 6 and 4. Hebrews 6 and 4. Everybody got it? Amen. Go ahead and read it. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted the heavenly gift. Uh-huh. And were made partakers of the Holy Ghost. And were made partakers of the Word of God. Yes, sir. Go ahead and read. And have tasted the good Word of God. Go ahead. And the powers of the world to come. Uh-huh. If they shall fall away. If they shall fall away, it's impossible for them, for, for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift. And they had the Word of God, right? Now, he said, if they should fall away, go ahead. To renew them again unto repentance. To renew them again unto repentance. Meaning you going on out there, you just stayed on out there. And the Lord just got fed up with you and that was it. Yes, sir. It is impossible to be for you to be renewed. Go ahead. Seeing they crucified to themselves the Son of God afresh. Uh-huh. And put him to an open open shame. You put the Lord to an open shame. So you know what you got got to look forward to, don't you? Come on. We ain't gonna even read it. We're gonna move on. <laughs> Let's go now. Let's go to Philippians, the third chapter. We got one more. Bag up. Philippians 3. And we got one more after this. Philippians 3. And we're gonna pick it up at verse. Uh, pick it up at verse 13. Philippians 3 and 13. Go ahead and read it. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended. Uh, so you see what Paul said? I'm not saved. I haven't apprehended yet. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. But this one thing I do. Uh-huh. Forgetting those things which are behind. Uh-huh. And reaching forth unto those things which are before. And that's what... I want everybody to understand right now. All those things, whatever you're doing, if just stop it. Stop doing it. Right? Put it behind you. And start reaching forward. That's it. Start reaching forward. There's hope for you. It's like like uh, uh, Ecclesiastes said, a living dog is better than a dead lion. For the living know that they shall die, but the dead don't know nothing. That's right, brother. So you got hope. There's hope. So put all those things behind you. Start today. Put all those things behind you and start reaching forward. Read that again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Brother, I count not myself to have apprehended. Uh-huh. But this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind uh -huh. and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Uh-huh. I press toward the mark I for the prize. Press toward the mark for the prize. Press towards it. Yes, sir. Go ahead. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of, of God in Christ Jesus. Now, so, you know, put those things behind you. You can start today. Put them behind you and start pressing toward the mark. Hallelujah. Let's go now. Let's go to, uh, let's go to, uh, uh we're going to go to, this is going to be last. Romans 8, because I, I, I want to feel like going on. <laughs> Romans 8. And 35, Romans 8 and 35. We're going to end it with this, though. Romans 8 and 35. And Paul just said a mouthful right here. Romans 8 and 35. Go ahead and read it. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Nobody. Hallelujah. Go ahead and read. Shall tribulation 
Or distress. See, you're going to have tribulation. You're going to have some distress in your life. Go ahead. Or persecution. You're going to have some persecution in your life. Go ahead. Or famine. Uh-huh. Or nakedness. Go ahead. Or peril. Or sword. Skip down to verse 37. Go ahead. Nay. Uh-huh. And all these things we are more than the conquerors See, through him he said, that loved us. He said, nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that love us. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Amen. Go ahead and read. For I am pers for I am persuaded that neither death uh -huh. nor life Go ahead. nor angels uh -huh. nor principalities Go ahead. nor powers nor things present nor things to come Go ahead. nor height nor depth uh -huh. nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God Ooh. which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Now he said, now he said, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor power, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God. Nothing going to separate us from the love of Nothing, God. Nothing, brother. Hallelujah. Nothing and nobody. So I hope everybody learns something from this lesson. And thank everybody for coming out. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, brother. Now, Appreciate that beautiful we lesson. We will have a reading of the announcements. Praise God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks again for the beautiful lesson, brother Rodney. In Jesus' name. We thank you. Um, and thank all that's tuning in and came out today. Uh, grace and peace to our brothers and sisters here at the Israel's Church of the Living God. This is your first visit. We hope you'll come back and worship with us again next Sabbath. There's no eating or drinking in the sanctuary with the exception for water. Brothers and sisters, please adhere to the dress code of Israel's Church of the Living God. Brothers, please remove any head covering upon entering the building. Do not wear sleeveless shirts, fleece jogging pants, shorts, tight fitting pants, or any other revealing attire. Sisters, you must have a head covering. This is required. Hat, scarf, etc. Do not wear shorts, skorts, midriffs, or see-through blouses, mini dresses, mini skirts, halter tops of any kind, revealing splits, tight fitting, or cleavage revealing attire, modest apparel only. We have Bibles and scarves available for visitors. If you use a Bible or scarf that belongs to Israel's Church of the Living God, please return it prior to leaving. If you live in the Lake County, Illinois area, please watch our television program, The Word for Life, every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. Comcast Channel 17. You can visit our Facebook page at Israel's Church of the Living God to post questions or comments. All questions will be answered according to the Bible. Click the Facebook like button to see our daily post and also click the follow the follow button to receive class information and church activities updates in your news feed. In an effort to expand the church ministry, we have started a building fund. You can make your secure payments online using our PayPal account at www.israelschurchoftlg.org. Or you can send your donation to the attention of ICOTLG at P.O. Box 8933, Waukegan, Illinois 60079. We thank you for your past contributions and hope for your continued support. Free will donations are welcome and appreciated. Finally, brothers and sisters, please, please continue to pray for one another. These are the Sabbath's announcements. If you'd like to contact us here at Israel's Church of Living God, you can give us a call at 847-636-4792. That's 847-636-4792. We also would like for you to follow us on our website. That's Israel's Church of TLG dot org. Israel's Church of TLG Dot org. Uh, you can go on there. We have some new teachers on there. And then you can go and check out previous lessons on our YouTube channel. So if that be it, we're going to stand and face Jerusalem. Close out. Our Father, our Father, which are in heaven, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. 
For thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. And thy will be done. Thy will be done. In earth. In earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day. Give us this day. Our daily bread. Our daily bread. And forgive us of our debts. And forgive us of our debts. As we forgive our debtors. As we forgive our debtors. And lead us not. And lead us not. Into temptation. Into temptation. But deliver us. But deliver us. From evil. From evil. For thine is the kingdom. For thine is the kingdom. And the power. And the power. And the glory. And the glory forever, forever. In Jesus' holy name, we pray. In Jesus' holy name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord God of Israel. Praise the Lord God of Israel. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.